Hi, let's try to find out how we can subnet this network B in part 2. So for this network, what we can do is we notice that we have the given addresses again as 192.168.10.0-24 and we are going to subnet this network further. Notice before we begin, we have actually a total of 3 routers, R1, R2 and R3. Okay, so we can continue to draw the bubble to represent the subnetwork. In this case, we have the subnetwork of R1. In this green bubble, the next network is actually this purple bubble between R1 and R2. The third network is actually this red bubble between R2 and R3. And finally, the last network is actually this R3 blue bubble here. So in this network, we actually can have four subnets. Okay, so let's try to create the number of subnets for this question. So there are a total of four subnets. So let's try to see the number of bits you should borrow to create the number of subnets. To find the number of bits available for the number of subnets of 4, so what we need to do is we'll proceed to look at the table over here. We have a total of 4 subnets we want to support. So in order to find the total of 4 subnets, so how many bits do we need for 4 subnets? So looking at the formula we have, we have the formula 2 to the power of n okay and let this n okay in this case n is equals to number of subnet bits okay so let the 2 to the power n equals to 4 okay and we know that 4 is actually equals to 2 to the power of 2 so therefore n is equals to 2 Okay, so we need to have total of two subnet bits to borrow or to create this network over here. So we need to borrow actually two subnet bits for part B. Okay, so let's examine the part C answer over here. So how many usable host addresses we can have in this addressing scheme? To see the number of host addresses, what we need to do is we can see the subnet mask. In this case, we have a subnet mask of, let's say, 255.255.255. something. Okay, so the last byte, let's represent it by the 8 binary bits. Okay. So for these 8 binary bits, we know that we ac actually borrow 2 subnet bits. Okay, we borrow 2 bits for the subnet. So what we have over here is we borrow 2 bits for the subnets. That is the subnet over here. That is the network. Network N for subnet. And the rest, let's represent it by H for the hosts. Okay, so that means we can actually have a total of 6 bits for the hosts. Okay, so we can have 6 bits for the hosts. So how do we know the number of usable host addresses in this case? So to do this, we need to use the formula 2 to the power of H minus 2. Okay, so in this case, H is actually six bits over here so we put this into the formula 2 to the power of 6 minus 2 so the answer is 64 minus 2 which is actually 62 so 62 is the total number of host addresses per subnet host addresses per subnet okay 
okay we know that the number of host addresses per subnet is 62 so let's write this down in the answer over here we have actually total of 62 host addresses per subnet so let's try to find the next part answer so in this case we want to know the number of subnet mask in this case what is the subnet mask in the dotted decimal format so to do this let's go back to the first part where we have drawn over here so this is the subnet mask and we can actually find out the effective subnet mask over here so we change the bits in n to represent by one and all the rest of the bits in h represent by zero so this is the binary version okay the binary version of the last octet so how do we convert this binary version into a decimal version okay so to do this what we need to do is we just simply multiply the first one by 128 and represent the next one by 64 okay so to find the total decimal number all we need to do is we just add up 128 plus 64 so what we'll get is actually 192 okay 192 so 192 is actually the decimal equivalent of this binary number over here okay so the final subnet mask for this question is actually subnet mask is actually 255.255.255.192 this is the subnet mask for this question so let's write that down so that's 255.255.255.192 okay so given this one let's try to answer the last part of the question how many subnets are available for future use so the number of subnets available for future use we can see the number of subnets we can plan over here we have four and we can actually we have actually used up all the subnets available in this planning so we do not have any more remaining subnets so total number of subnets available for future use is zero okay so let's try to put the answer in the addressing table over here so to put this the answer we proceed to look at the first part we notice that the addressing given is 192.168.10.0 so this is where we will start to have our first subnet 0 192.168.10.0 okay so the first usable subnet is actually this address point one and the last usable host address how do we need to know we can find this out by the answer given on top so notice over here our total number of usable host address is actually 62 so the answer for this part over here the last usable host address is actually 192.168.10.62 broadcast address will be the next address point 63 so this is the address given for the first subnet 0 and we can proceed to answer the rest of the addresses 192.168.10.64 for the subnet 0 for the next address is 10.65 to the 10 point what's the next address over here so this address over here we can find this using 64 in this case plus 62 where 62 is the number of host addresses per subnet so in this case we have one two six okay so this is one two six over here so let's write this down one two six and finally the last broadcast address is actually 10.127 okay and we can continue to populate the answer in this case is 128 129 and the next 
address for the last usable host address for subnet 2 how do we find this out all we need to do is we will use this subnet beginning address of 128 128 plus the 62 we have given earlier where 62 is the total number of usable host addresses per subnet so in this case 128 plus 62 is actually 190 okay so this is 190 and this 190 will be this address we have for this last host address okay okay so let's fill this in and the last broadcast address is actually oops the last broadcast address is actually 192.168.10.191 okay so let's continue to fill up the rest for the last subnet subnet 3 is 192.168.10.192 to the next address 192.168.10.193 and the next one is 192.168.10. How much? In this case, we look at this again. 192 is the address for the subnet 3 plus 62, the number of addresses available per subnet. So in this case, 192 plus 62, we will get 254. Okay, and this is the answer for this last usable host address okay so in this case the answer is 254 and finally the last broadcast address is actually 192.168.10.255 so this is the address table given for the last quest question number two